What's going on guys, it's Nano Pack with another video. It's been a while, thanks for stopping by. Pack with another video. Yo, listen, we're gonna be talking about the Power Beats Pro today. Y'all see that? Power Beats Pro. I don't have my Apple AirPods with me right now, but imagine the Apple AirPods case fitting inside of this. This is how big the Power Beats Pro case is. What I want to talk about is really things I like, things I don't like, and who these are for. This is going to be a real quick review, a five-minute review. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about the product. Do you own it? Will you get it? Did you pass up on it? Hit the link below to check it out on Amazon. Hit that subscribe button. You already know what to do. Let's get it started. The actual case itself. It is big. You've seen other reviews. You've seen other people talk about it. It is a big product. Now, big in terms of the case. The product itself, when you open up the case, sits nicely inside like so. And when you pull them out, they're actually not that bad. Um, I think they look good. I think that they're actually a really sleek design. Um, but they are very, very big in terms of the case itself. Now, Apple, or Beats, Apple owns Beats, um, in my opinion, designed these not to be the next generation of AirPods, but to be the ones that the people who've always said, these don't fit in my ear, these fall out of my ear, these cause discomfort, this one size fit all isn't for me, they made this one for them. For example, my girlfriend loves to go to the gym. She hates earbuds. They tangle, they fall off. She likes to actually wear over the head earphones, but they too fall off, especially if you're doing some form of exercise in which you are leaned over. Well, these right here actually allow you to keep them in because of the actual hook, the actual design of the product itself. The fact that you have this guy right here that kind of hooks around is going to allow you to put it in your ear like so and then you kind of kind of twist yourself like kind of twist it in you see what i mean and once it's in it's in like this isn't going anywhere and as you can see right here this is what it looks like from the front this is how it looks like from the side it does not budge it does not move i love that about these i absolutely love that about these and these are sweat proof or sweat resistant whatever so yeah they entice you they actually encourage you to go to the gym because these are going to actually protect against that love 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 the design form of these when i first saw the release of these i thought they were too big i thought they were too bulky i thought they would stick out too much they don't they don't they don't they don't i love that i love that each one of these has a, an individual volume racker i don't know if you guys can see that but it actually has an individual volume rocker right there. Each one of these can put the volume up, put the volume down. The Beats button right here serves as a uh, pause play, serves as a skip button, this right here. So the Beats logo will pause play, will skip, okay? Each one of these buzz or pieces have the same control. So you can wear these independently like you would AirPods, like you would Samsung Galaxy Buds. But unlike the AirPods, you can actually turn up your volume with these. Actually, don't need your phone to do so. Love them. They actually sound really good. I'm not an audiophile, but they sound good. They definitely sound better than AirPods. Absolutely sound better than Samsung Galaxy Buds. They're more expensive too. They definitely have a little bit more bass and they sound better. For the average consumer, the person who's not actually an audiophile, I think you would put these on and think, wow, these sound good. What don't I like about these? Let me show you what I don't like about this. You see how they're in the case? It is super annoying to put these damn earbuds in. Like literally every single time that I take these out, I need to figure out a way to put these in and I hate it. Like, I know this sounds ridiculous and it is. It's a puzzle. It's like doing origami. I hate it. There you go. It, it's not intuitive. It's annoying. Your brain says that this should not fit in there, but it does. You know the magnets are there, and then once they're in, they're in. Close the case. You're gonna have a little link, a light blink right there, and that light is going to tell you, as you can see, watch. 
Oh. That light right there is going to tell you if it's charging. Like if you've got it plugged in, it'll be red. Uh, white, I think, is pretty much fully charged. Um, the case will definitely give you 24 hours extra battery life. The earbuds itself, I think, is between six and nine, depending on how you're using them. Um, but the case is big. I, I get it. The, the buds themselves are big. The case has to be big. You can't really put this in your pocket without drawing attention. If you're a guy, hey, ladies, watch out. Um, you're, you're, you're wanting to throw this in your backpack. You're wanting to put this in your purse, in your gym bag. They're not small and sleek like the Galaxy Buds, and they're not small and sleek like the Apple AirPods. Um, and therefore, that kind of makes it lose a lot of its, of its charm, its portability. But with that being said, guys, this is a great product. I've enjoyed it a lot. I, I wish that they had gone with a USB-C back here. Um, they chose to go with a lightning cable. Um, that sucks. Always have to have one more cable to carry around unless you're full on on the Apple ecosystem. Unless you got an iPad. Um, but I wish they went USB-C. I wish that the charging mechanism was a little bit more intuitive. So you don't spend so much time trying to figure out how to put the actual pieces away. Um, and, and I'm not one to complain about the pricing. I honestly, I don't think that the pricing is, is, is poorly priced. $250 I think is, is fair. Anything more than $250 I would think is, is a highway robbery. Um, but when you're paying $160, $190 for AirPods that have a wireless charging case, like that's, no, that does nothing. That, that this basic audio to your ear, these actually produce something that sticks in your ear. This is something that actually sounds good and something that actually allows you to go to the gym and it doesn't come out. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of these and uh, whether you want to get them, whether you got them, whether you return them and whether you're waiting on something else like the Sony ones that are coming out here in August. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And like always, it's Nando. Peace, salute, and adios.